Hi, I'm Anthony Romrell, and welcome to CG for Me. So, I have used my script to build out some controls, but the controls have some issues. Number one, some of them are too big, some of them are too small. So, I'm going to select my joints and I'm going to create a new layer with them. And I'm going to template it, and as you can see, not all my joints are following the template. I don't know exactly why, but I'm going to select the other joints in the chain and add those selected objects. And these two uh, need to be added. So I'm going to add these selected objects. Delete this layer here. I don't need it. And double click and just rename these joints. Turn the vis visibility of my pig off so I can see the templated joints and my controls. Actually, I may need my pig, so I'm going to turn that back on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, control vertex mode, and I'm basically going to model my controls. So I can get them the scale I want, and I can manipulate them the way I want. So I'm going to take a minute to do that. And if you want it to stay in control vertex mode, I can just go to component mode here and change it. To control vertex and go through and just select them and manipulate. All these controls. shoulder controls and some of these I can manipulate by pushing maybe I can manipulate both sides at the same time push these up so you can't see them and maybe raise these controls so they're a little higher the clavicles I can't even see at all so what I may do is select all of the clavicles control vertex like this and uh, just manipulate it so it's out here and shrink it so maybe I get a clavicle that looks something like this and you can be creative doesn't matter how you do it so I can manipulate this control again so it looks like the other side. And I'll select this clavicle and all the control vertices of it. And in essence, I'm just taking a NURBS curve and modeling it. And there's no real rule on the way controls should look, but they should be for the most part, user friendly. So that an, an animator can easily identify what it is. You could also do something like, you know, on these elbow controls, I can select the entire elbow control. And I could rotate them. You can see they're going different directions for each one, so I might just have to do one at a time. So I can select these controls. And I can modify the pivot point. So hold D and V and move its pivot point down and I can rotate how this control looks and go to my side view make sure it looks flat do the same to the other side hold D and move it center point
rotate it. And there you go. Some of the some of the important ones like the head, I can't even see the head control. So I want to make sure that I can see the entire head. I can see the control through the head. So something like that may be better. Maybe it's not so important to see it in the front so you could pull it in. The important thing is you need to be able to see the controls through the model. So now you can see the head control.